Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel. I'm in the basement of the keep where I have removed all of the shulker box nonsense from outside of the inn. I decided to clean up and do a little bit of organizing in between streams. And I know I don't normally stream on Tuesday, but I thought, hey, I've got some extra time. It's a rainy, gross day outside, so I'm not going anywhere. Might as well throw up a stream, have some fun, see if we can get some more work done along the river. Grandpa Crafter, the King Neblet, Kel Birdie, Cosmic Dancer, Unstable Gamer. Matt, good to see everybody. Elad Jenkins is in the house. Hope you're having a good afternoon. So, I really didn't do a heck of a lot that would have been beyond what we started with the Iskal 85 Shulker Plus data pack. No, sorry, it's a mod. Shulker Plus mod. I extended the idea of putting hanging signs on all of the wood boxes. So now all the wood boxes have got a hanging sign on them. This is the decorative box, so like all the chests and furnaces and campfires and armor stands and all that kind of stuff. This is the tables and chairs box. We've got bones, snow, two different kinds of grass, the short grass kind, and then the grass block kind. Flowers, of course. Then we've got bamboo. This is the path texture situation. <clears throat> we've got dripstone, clay. These are the ores which I think makes sense. Deep slate in the dark one, regular ores in the light one, the end box, coal box, amethyst, and calcite. I just have to remember that calcite's in there. Uh, unfortunately, the biggest problem is how similar all of these boxes are. And this is cobble, tough, gravel, stone, stone bricks, all the deep slates. And I have yet to figure out a item texture, a flat item texture, that will go on one of these and I'll show you why I'll show you why so we can put cobblestone on here sure like that's not a big deal right but I don't particularly like the way that it it um shows up in game I think we've talked about this before there goes my anvil and so it looks cool in here like that's very clearly cobblestone but when you put it down in the world it has this it sticks way 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 out and I really wish it did not do that. And I know that one way around it on Hermitcraft that I've seen Exumavoid do is they have a data pack on the server for all their custom models where you can rename something like an iron nugget or a stick into any texture that you want. And what I think Exumavoid has done is he's renamed sticks to be the cobblestone texture. So then when it displays in, a, in an item frame, because that's what these are. These are basically displaying as if they're in an item frame. Uh, and a stick of obviously lays flat like that. And so he's done that where he's got block textures that lay flat. And I much prefer that than the weird blocky thing. Uh, we need to do another anvil, I guess. They're very helpful, I find, in the shulker box. I find this this very helpful. And I'll go over that in a second as well. So I'm going to take this away. I also turned up my game sounds. I was watching one of my videos on YouTube last night just as a quality check, and I found that the game sounds are pretty low. So I've decided to up them a little bit. Let me know if they're too loud. Cosmic Dancer subscribing at tier one, 68 months, currently on a 68 month streak. That's amazing. Coming up on 70. You can apply for senior citizenship in my chat. <laughs> Actually in Canada, I think that's 65. Thanks so much for the support Cosmic and for all the awesome modding that you do. I appreciate it. Speaking of modding, there's Sandy, who is absolutely not late. Never late nor early, arriving precisely when they mean to. Shulker boxes looks like they're easy to go through. Yeah, especially when you start to have several of the same color. So like three brown, it's nice to be able to tell the difference. I, I get that they're a little bit si like similar when they're all brown like that. Um, logs might be an easy way to do it, but... There's a lot of similarities on the outside textures of spruce and dark oak anyway. Um, but like, you know, acacia, birch, jungle, mangrove, 
cherry. Like it's all very easy. But the real, I think the real bonus is in here, you know, knowing that that's candle and that's coral means that these two are sand. Um, again, same thing with the sand, sand, stone and sand. There's no flat texture in an item that I felt represented sandstone and sand. Nether box has got glowstone on it, die box. And that's just to make sure like, you know, at least now the concrete box is the one without a marker right so like that's i guess that's the only way to tell them apart these are um the nether woods we've got wool i thought shears would make sense um but yeah so the only thing i can think of that might help me here would be like putting a pickaxe maybe on these cut stone ones that could be kind of interesting to do uh which we could we could try now we've got sticks i think what do you think, a stone pickaxe? That's probably the best way to go, right? And then the differences there will be... Oh, they're both the same color, I guess. Maybe I have to dye that one light gray. Do that too. Oh, I guess I didn't need two pickaxes. That was dumb. I keep on forgetting that these items don't get used when you make those changes. So, same item, but different color boxes. So that's one way to help, I guess, extend the usefulness. I mean, it's not expensive. I don't really care about the pickaxes. Oh, look, I had a, I had an iron one there. Could have used that. I think the stone makes sense, though. So the way that I remember this in the in the field is that I always lay them out in the same order from left to right so that I know that cobble's on this end and stone is on that end, stone bricks, etc. So Willow Mation, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, it's not the first time I've made a stone pickaxe. I tried installing the data pack from Hermitcraft that uh, unlocked all of the recipes and it um, caused the server to crash. Uh, and was, no, sorry. It was causing a problem with the tables and chairs data pack. It was giving us a, a constant toast loop in the top right hand side. So I had to uninstall it. So we're just, it's just because we've updated to 1.20.4. And so the game thinks that I'm doing everything for the first time. But yeah, so I, you know, these are all blocks. These are all blocks and slabs. Carpets display funny. So everything that's a carpet displays and a slab displays like out that way instead of flat on the face. So you can't use slabs or carpet as your items. And so I don't really have anything else. I mean, I guess I could use a shovel for dirt maybe. That could be... That could be useful. Some of the tools might be a good way to go. I guess mangrove leaves, we could do a propagule, right? That way I'm not, it's hard to see. In the world it's easy to see, in the inventory not so much. Uh, these would display like a block. So would all the bushes. I guess we could maybe use something else in here for the green bin, maybe like seeds or something. The idea is that this is supposed to be like plants and crops. So I don't know, I guess a carrot would make sense. You'd certainly be able to see it from a mile away.
I am having a little bit of fun with this. It is it is a nice change. I think it's one of those things where like once you realize that you can do something like this to really help you with end game organization, I really feel like um there are some things in in Minecraft that's missing from the the UI capabilities, which I really wish we had in the vanilla game. Would pink petals on a uh, green azalea bin look like azalea? Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. I guess the problem there is for me, like then it becomes less of like an obvious thing and more of like, I have to remember, you know, like I could also put a pair of shears on this one green box and that could be the azalea, but I kind of want it to be a little bit more intuitive than that. You know, obviously those are, are good there. If it was something as simple as the azalea having a similar sapling, uh, to to the rest of the saplings that it would make sense, but I'm pretty sure in an item frame these display like a block. Yeah, so that's gonna stick out of the the top of the box, which is not what I'm not what I want. Not what I'm looking for. It's the kind of thing you almost want to go to a, a Wikipedia article and just look at the list of items that might work, you know. Like this made sense, different color boxes, but the same sort of grass. Um, but yeah, like I said, we don't have a lot in terms of the flat textures of things. I guess these are all items. What is this? Blocks, weapons. So like there's a couple things that could be useful, like Flints and steel, arrows, the brush. That's my diamond armor chest plate, by the way. Boots and armor. Those things display flat. Uh, see, all of this is going to... Well, the hopper would display correctly. But trap doors and pressure plates, and they all kind of display in a weird way. Tripwire hook would display flat. But yeah, all of this would not display quite right. I've thought about adding that little data pack that they have on Hermitcraft for renaming things and doing some custom models uh, in case I ever have time. But the problem there is that th those are probably not going to work come 1.20.5 and 1.21. So I'd invest all that time into organizing something and then not be able to use it for more than a couple of months. Because I absolutely want to update to 1.21 as soon as possible. So... I don't want us to be hung up on data packs or mods. So, and all of these are, are blocks. I mean, I guess, you know, wheat on an orange box would be good for the mud because you kind of, you need wheat to make packed mud, but it's kind of a stretch. And all of these are just blocks upon blocks upon blocks. You know, I guess a dead bush maybe on the terracotta because of the biome it comes from. But again, I'd really like to have a different way of doing that. Anyway. Uh, we won't spend too long on that. I want to... I think we're just going to pick up where we left off. So we finished the inn and the grounds and all the stuff. And we started working on this staircase going down to the river. This path is not done. And we got a good amount of work done on this. It's uh, It needs a little bit of love, but I don't think it's going to be crazy because you can't do much for textures in here because of all the, the stairs and the slabs. So we're kind of stuck with the way that it is. Uh, I'm happy with the way that this looks, but it, obviously it needs some grass. We definitely need to do some reshaping here. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to attack this, get that looking the way that I want. And... Then we'll do the path here with some texture and fixing up. So I'm going to need to empty some of that grass and dirt and bring those bins out. And we'll bring some moss, I think, too. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, we can actually check off something from the book because we finished finished the inn. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, the screenshots from yesterday on the show came out came out quite well. Speaking of, there's a new episode of the Spawn Chunks podcast out there. We interviewed Mogswamp and came on to talk about Super Flat Worlds, talked about his 
insight on the the uh, the mace as well and uh had a great time talking with him fun guy really really fun guy crazy that he's been playing in super flat for like 12 years all of that is linked on the spunchunks.com, including links to all of Mog Swamp's content. Twitter, Patreon, Discord, Instagram, all of it. It's all on the spunchunks.com. And uh and then of course the uh the podcast is available wherever you listen, including YouTube. Johnny posted that today, so it's available all over the place now. So this is our to-do list, and there are some things now that we've updated to 1.20.4 there's a couple of things back here i can actually take care of so after we do a little bit of landscaping maybe we'll take a break and go like finish some towers and stuff the wheat mill farm interior that needs to be done but i need the table and chair data pack so that'll be fun to take care of uh spruce river north points of interest riverbanks north riverbanks and then east river west over river uh northwest riverbanks we're working on that now and the potato farm fishing dock and that's that's kind of where we are now. That's what we're working on. But uh, yay, we've completed the West Hill River Inn, so that's good. Can leave that in here. And take this with me. Obviously, these need to be put away. This is just random beats. I need to empty the dirt, I think. Yeah. Dirt and grass need emptying. That will come with us. Moss will come with us. Azalea and... Actually, let's just bring the bush box. I mean, we do have the, the preview mode too. That will help for some of the boxes where I'm not sure. Just restock that. Also, just bring the one. That's azalea, bamboo. We'll need the landscaping. And I think that's probably it for now. Probably some wood blocks. Bone meal, obviously. Make sure those aren't sticking around anywhere. Don't think I'm going to need any flowers for now. And I know I'm going to need stone. And a site. And I'll worry about the rest in the next phase. So really what I need to do now is just make sure we can dump off some of this stuff where it needs to go. We should probably do that with all of these. Just when I said I was done organizing. Ranger, thanks for checking out the new episode of the Spawn Chunks. That's the nice thing about podcasts is that if you're using a podcatcher app, then they'll just arrive right in your inbox. Or if you're subscribed on YouTube, then it'll just show up in your subscriptions. Johnny's really good about posting things pretty much right away sometimes it's like tuesday morning so a squid head and a player head are these all player heads these are all no so player head let's take the player heads out and we'll put those here that way we know where the player heads are oh player head the player heads are just blocks that have been placed down and picked up again I 
thought there was another one. I guess not. So then these are all normal. And I've got a lot of these already in different places. So some of this stuff should just get get filed, so to speak. And the rest we can just start a new box. I was sort of organizing them by color as best I could. That's everything. Next up, the graveyard. No flowers? No. Not not in this stage. I'm just doing the early stage landscaping stuff. We do have an awful lot of storage around here. I see even just having the grass blade on that is still a little confusing for me sometimes. Might as well just take all but a handful. Well, I have to remember if I need dirt in the future, I know right where to where to get it. Returning to West Hill and have all the doors pink. Well, it wouldn't be a very secret prank. Prank, that would be a dead ringer for I know who who done it. You know, I brought this coal by accident. So here's something I like to do after I finish a build is, is approach it on the ground as often as I can. I kind of wonder if this would benefit from having this actually kind of go up in a slope here. So maybe we'll extend this a little bit. We can mesh that in and make it feel a little bit more natural. All right, where's going to be the easiest place to set up? Probably right up here somewhere. Or no, I guess over here. It's a little far, but we're not going to be moving anything from here. We'd know it was Alistair, right, Cosmic? Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was thinking. Totally. Oh, Ender Chest. Don't know why I did that. Stone, green bin. Oh, that's just empty. So they look good on walls, but they do look a little bit funny when you put them on the ground.
that's the bushel box. Bone meal. Another empty shulker. Yay. Gonna have to repair our pickaxe soon. So I had some ideas on how to add a little bit of detail to the um, the staircase there. So in some cases, I feel like we can probably get some signage on here. It's probably better for like the outside. So when you look at it from over here, it feels really plain. And so I'm wondering if we could use some of the details that we did like on the front of the inn. I've got some of these signs hooked up there. Mine Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. So the options are buttons, ladders, and signs. Ladders are no. And I think I like the spruce sign. Yeah, I think that helps it make it look like it has a top to it. And I, I don't know if I want to have these go up the front here as well. Actually, yeah, that looks pretty cool. We're not going to be able to put it on the front of all of them, I don't think. Yeah, because this one's got a trapdoor. So we won't be able to do it on that one. But we can wrap them on a, all the other ones. So. I think I'll go with that. We just need more signs. Can I get those from logs? I don't remember. Yes. Kelberty, thanks for the lurk. Now, is that too much coming down here? No, I think it looks okay. I guess I could just remove this. Gives me a chance to put an extra texture in there. I could just put the, press, the um, trap door there. Let's go with oak. I like that overlap better, I think. And that one doesn't do it or need it. And then this one, we should be able to do it. We're going to run out of signs again. Oh, I can't do it there. And I like that trapdoor there. And I'll have to remove the carpet. That's fine. So the only one, 
And I guess... I guess we could do the same thing here. It's a little bit easier or more expensive, I think, to get a sign that way in my data pack, but the convenience is nice. Now, I don't think, I think I tried a post there and it didn't look that good. I'm now wondering whether this should be wood, but it's probably okay. Blast Jordan, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. So it looks a little bit strange where the chain is, but it's not the end of the world. The next thing is the um, bushes on the side need to be fixed up a bit. So I want this to have a little bit more content there. Oh, we're going to need stripped wood. Do you have any more plans for builds like this outside of Westall, or is it likely to be more farms kind of things? I think it's going to be mostly farms. Uh, there are three farms here, here, and here. And I don't know what's happening there. So my main concern is everything uh, inside this road. So I want to finish up this area here, this area here, and then this area here. And once this is like, once we're done with this, we can complete this section, no problem. So I do really want the rivers to be done mostly because kind of like ripping off a bandaid, I just kind of want to be finished with it, you know? And I guess we can do stone there. I don't think I brought mossy cobble. That's fine. This is where I need to get some slabs. I want it to look like the rock is kind of coming out from behind everything. And it looks like I had planned on putting some andesite over there. Oops. 
Uh, maybe we'll go moss. Soften that up a bit. Alright, so that feels like it sticks out too far. Change that. Obviously get rid of this too. Did I bring green concrete? Did. I like having more than one block inside of a shulker box. It's, it's fun sometimes to have kind of a mix. So you can sort of do like your, your landscaping all from one, one box or one kind of landscaping, I guess. So all I'm doing here is just kind of creating some defined shapes to the rock. I think this might actually be better off going lower. So here's where a stair would probably come in handy. I try not to use them because I think it makes the rocks look too perfect. But when you're trying to get a very specific height to something. Or maybe up here. And this almost feels a little bit too inviting, so I'm going to try and make this look a little bit more natural. Sometimes you can kind of point people to, in, a, in a direction you want them to go with texture, which is nice.
Ah, that looks all right. I guess I want to make sure that this is more on the flat side. Glad I moved everything a lot closer. Cosmic Dancer, thank you for being fantastic. Insane value, good to see you again. Never thought about pointing people in directions using different textures. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very, you can, I use it mostly for like the path of your eye, right? So let's see if I can find an example. Like here you wanna pull people's eye down to the bottom because it looks wet and looks cool. Um, here, it's sort of like drawing attention to the, to the scoop because there's a different texture back there than there is up here. And you can sort of see like you kind of follow your way up because it gets lighter, right? Light green ga grass, bushes, moss, cobble and gray and green, and then it switches and slowly gets darker as it goes down. Uh, have I, I don't know if I've done, I've certainly done it with, uh, textures on roads, certainly done it with textures on roads where you kind of want people to, uh, go left or right. Can I find a place where I've done that? Uh, yeah, I mean, here's an example. These textures lead to the door, right? The bricks lead to the door. Um, I feel like I've done this in other places too. Hey, look, random dirt block with a flower. Um, these ones kind of pull you into the alleyway. Those are cosmic pranks, by the way. <laughs> There's been so many of them that even they don't remember where they put them. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's quite funny. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, yeah, so stuff like that. You know, it, it texture goes that way, texture goes this way. It also makes sense because, like, that's the people, the direction that people might walk. So this is no longer working for me. I think I need to extend this up here. I'll worry about blending that in later.
So we can work in maybe some gravel and some stuff like that here and there. Yeah, see that feels a little straight. So I think this whole thing might be better off to try and disappear right into the cliffside. And not have this part here. That's better. I think that works. So it's a subtle hint towards the secret entrance here. And even then, I wish there was a way that I could hide it more. I guess we could force people to duck. Oh, I wonder if I could bring if I could bring that bush down. Maybe that's a good way to do it. That's not bad. I don't think I have any proper gills, but if you bone meal Oh no, that's, that's um, the other one, mangrove. cool because it's two blocks off the ground we'll have some falling leaves come from it too because of the way that that mod is installed i can see some better textures like mossy cobble in there too so maybe we'll work on that a little bit with a different shulker box I think what I need to do is change this to a stair. Well, maybe not. Well, I'll leave it. See if it grows on me. And then this is also funky. Zero T triple six with the prime sub. 11 months coming up on a full year. That's amazing, Zero. Thank you so, so much. Icosphere 610 just coming in from the Spawn Chunks podcast. Thanks for listening. What do you think of the episode so far this week? Now, I brought some of these blocks with me, but not all of them.
And sometimes I've found that it's nice just to kind of throw in a little bit of dirt here and there just for fun. Although maybe not there. So the idea is that there's a little path here. Wolf blood kin, hello, hello. Oh, I'm not out of mossy cobble. I just I didn't bring that giant shulker box full of stuff with me, so. I have to pop back and get a few things, I think. I was trying to bring as little out as possible. Did I pick up my bed? Where's my bed? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I have all the things. I just didn't bring them from the basement of the keep. But we'll go get those now. Anything else that I need? I wanted a propagule. So the way that I organize the flowers is that these are the two tall flowers and these are mostly white. So maybe I should, I, I brought the pink tulips in here just because they were next to the peony, but maybe like, maybe the yellow ones should also go in here. Keep the dark flowers in this box. Not sure where orange would go. Oh, those are too tall, aren't they? Never mind. So, yeah. Uh, that's everything, I think. Uh, maybe some gravel. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Sounds good. Since I'm already in here, before I go right back out to the dig site, or the work site, I'll just hang in there. Loganitis, thanks for saying hi. It's a mod. Uh, it's called 85. It's called Shulker Plus. Check it out. It's on Hermitcraft, too. Cool. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It is about that time. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So one of the things I keep on wanting to do is take a shortcut along here. So maybe I'll put in like a little footpath or something. That would make sense. So I've got more stone boxes. Let's pick these up. We are already expanding. And what else did I want? Mossy cobble. Maybe a little tough. I've got all those blocks. Um, Lagonitis is wondering how, I guess I, I mean, how to make people moderators is just something you do in your community panel on Twitch. But if you're choose, talking about how I choose moderators, that's trickier. Um, I've been around a little while, so I just kind of had a good vibe from the people that I've chosen to make my moderators. Um, I think too, you can, the best kind of people to uh, potentially make moderators are the kind of people that never ask to be a moderator. Um, you generally want to have people that are more just out there to make the community better on their own. That's generally how I see it. Um, and then of course, you know, like if you find somebody that you think it might work, then ask them and see if they agree and let them know that there's no obligation and there's usually a pretty good consensus. You, I feel like you just kind of know the kind of people that get your community. Don't know if I like that. Let's go this way. Oh no. Left the rest of my moss up here. I didn't realize I was so low. So the idea here is to kind of catch your eye with oh look there's a path there maybe this shouldn't be as obvious maybe i should make this more grass like beaten down grass than path yeah i think i like that better It's all the same. Hold on. Maybe just remove this one.
I think it'll help when we start to put some actual grass down here, but I think that's pretty good. It's pretty subtle, pretty subtle. And then here, I thought we could attach one of these guys. Oh, does it, it has to be on a mangrove bush. Crap. All right, never mind. Can you put hanging roots on bushes? I'm about to find out for science. Nope, you cannot. Oh, I could maybe do it here though. I feel like that draws more attention to it than I really want. Oh crap, guess that needed shears. The main thing is, of course, is that there's lighting coming in from down here. So if we walk this back uh, to, we'll say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Maybe on this one here. That'll, that goes down to one, so that's not going to be quite as bright. Right now, it's just the weird block lighting. Thanks so much, uh, Legonitis. Appreciate you coming by. Yeah, there's lots of videos on the VODs channel. Thanks, Sandy. Good call. Good call. Um, maybe we'll make this mossy as well. Yeah, and I didn't have any, but somebody mentioned vines earlier. And they're also a good way. I use them over there to blend some stuff in. And we have vine growth turned off. need my shears. These are almost done. I find that the, the vines help them almost match better with the mossy cobble in some ways. I don't think it's needed there though. Oh, maybe it was. Never mind. I guess we could also, on purpose, have a vine there. How do you get a vine to grow without the growth mechanic turned on? Bone meal? Full inventory. Who had one hour and 18 minutes? Because <laughs> it usually doesn't take that long. No, I guess you can't. So you can't have them overhang. I guess I could place it and break it. Yeah, there we go. I don't know whether that draws attention to it. 
or not. Blend it in a little bit. Oh, that probably looked better. Shorter? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, they're around somewhere cosmic. I just don't remember where I put them. I think... I don't remember where I put them. Oh, they're there, there. Covered cave entrance. Yeah. I don't think I want to put blocks out there. It might be kind of obvious. I mean, you're going to be able to see it. I think that's pretty good. And I think the path is good. And then I think all we need to do now is just throw a couple of those in there. Right. And then we can just go around Blending in the rest of this hill. It's pretty good. I think I've already done the basic landscaping on it. It's just that this part might need a little TLC. How did I do it over there? A lot of vines and bushes. This is where I go from having like a custom custom build into like just the general Minecraft landscape and I try to 
to do a nice transition so that I don't have to landscape absolutely everything. I can just use some of the landscape as, as we see fit and then the rest of it. Just as like default. That's pretty good. This way not everything has to be a bush. Or something overhanging and then of course we have this as well sometimes a little bit of dirt makes sense I feel like I did this over there where I sort of skipped a couple. I don't need the prop fuel. Oh, where did that go? I think I just brought that on my own. What else can go? Stone. I like seeing what solutions you come up with to cover those grass sides, I use vanilla tweaks resource pack for it, but doing this way, things are more interesting. Yeah, I do. That's something I, I missed about Optifine when we first switched from Optifine to, to Sodium is is not having that connected texture. I could do it. I, like, I feel like it would save me a lot of hassle, but there is something nice about having that skill to tackle, you know, the vanilla Minecraft thing. And this is what I mean by like, I think I need to start shaving a little bit of, the, of this back. Sometimes they're not too bad. And sometimes you don't need them to be, you know, completely uh, like grass free. A little bit of overlap here and there. So there kind of echoes the coarse dirt down here. Having a little bit of a gap helps that coarse dirt look, it looks like it blends in better. What I should do is just have a stack of grass on me. And 
And sometimes in situations like this, you can just hit it with that triple moss and then bush just softens things up just a little bit. Heard the squid, thought there was something coming behind me. Funny how that almost looks like a completely different kind of bush. I learn something new every day. Whoop, that is not what I wanted. So I'm thinking more about like what this looks like as a view, right? And I think that's okay. Might be a little bit nicer to have some lighter stuff up here. I think that works. And have we seen before the um, the brute force nature of just like doing grass and ferns just everywhere, right? That really helps too. But even this looks cool here, like. I'm not sure how much of that you can see from up here, but you get a glimpse of it when you look over here, right? You can see that that stuff there. And so that kind of landscaping helps blend into just the default Minecraft stuff once that's all covered in grass. Now that the tables and chairs data pack is working again, are you going to position work some interiors again? Yeah. So like one of the things I might even get to today or well, not today, but like Nice little breaks from this landscaping. I have like the upper levels, the inside of that wheat mill is empty and I'd like to fill that up with the proper data pack items. But like that's not, that's like a half an hour, you know, like that's not a big job at all. Not a big job at all. Now I don't know if cobblestone is going to be too bright there. Yeah, that's right. We'll leave it. Sort of looks like a damp tunnel. Do I have? I thought I had andesite slabs on me somewhere. Guess not.
tunnel exit complete. It's kind of an odd straight texture. I wonder. Oh, that's going to be seeded from the outside. Never mind. Yeah, that can't work. Okay. Good, good. And now here, I can throw in a little bit of grass. That's better. And then maybe pop in a couple up high somewhere. I love that you don't need something special for moss carpet. You can just use your hand or whatever. That's great. You have to build an infinity cove once I'm finished building it. I need to work on the interior, so I'm looking forward to picking up some tips. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of little things in my in my in my book. I want to finish up. So here's where you sometimes don't want to have the concrete powder in the corner because then you can't put grass on it. And then sometimes the grass just looks a little bit too far forward. There's a cave around here somewhere. Nope, that was better as a dirt. Or grass side, I guess I should say. So that blends in pretty well. Obviously a few parts here that'll need some extra stuff, but I think this is where we can start to get into using both the grass and the ferns.
Yeah, not bad. The trick is to try to not make it look too even because then it looks like man-made as opposed to natural. And yes, you can just bone meal this stuff and have it be pretty effective, but I find that this is a faster way to get what I want sometimes. Larger areas like this, I'll probably hit with some bone meal too. Certainly for the time being, it, it fixes a, a problem temporarily. That's for sure. Should really turn this all into dirt first before I get too carried away. Yeah, the the moss blocks and the and the blending help a lot too. Uh, let's grab more of those. Getting low on the moss. That might be a good thing to do today is run back and get some materials. I feel like there's some new people in chat today that maybe haven't seen some of the servers, so that could be a fun walk. Maybe I'll do that just before my next break. I need to repair my pickaxe anyway. Not need to, but like might as well. Shears too. Oh no, where will you get more moss? Yeah. The farm that I turned on once and never have to turn on again. <laughs> that's probably where. Yeah, I think that's solid. I mean, we spent a good bit of the first hour of the stream organizing inventory and stuff, but I think that is where I want it. So I will call that section done. There are some things that kind of stick out funny. Oh, right. I got. I keep on forgetting that I can do this coarse dirt slab trick that looks quite good. I did it over on the south banks of this river over here somewhere. Yeah, little bits of coarse dirt slab work quite nicely. Uh, it is a data pack. The dirt slab is a data pack. Uh, it's a combination data pack and texture pack. So you have to create a recipe data pack to allow you to take coarse dirt and craft it into petrified oak slabs. And then in your texture pack, you change the texture of petrified oak slabs to coarse dirt texture. So you don't have to create any new textures. You just have to make a recipe. You can do it at um, the construction.ca, but construction is spelt funny. Hey, look, Nightbot has got a link thanks to Cosmic in the chat just for you, delicious donut. Go check out that site. It's very cool. Great for recipes. That's how I did, that's how I did the stone, stone cutter recipes. So like when I go to the stone cutter and I put in wood, uh, not that kind, I put in regular logs. Uh, yeah. So all of the, all of these recipes for all the different wood in the stone cutter, I did at crafting.thedestruction.ca, which is linked in the chat. Um, for anybody listening on YouTube later or watching on YouTube later, it's the destruction, but instead of t-i-o-n it's seven i zero n at the end of the destruction if you google it crafting destruction data pack it comes right up it's pretty straightforward easy to find
So yeah, call that complete. And I'll worry about blending the rest of it later. So what I need to do in order to blend this stuff in is finish up doing the, the, the final landscaping around that. And then this is just going to be inconsequential blending. So we'll take care of that at a different time. What I think I'll do now is... First, I'm going to turn this into coarse dirt, but I also need to just dump a lot of this inventory out. So I'll be ready to go to the gold farm when I need to. I'll keep those. I don't think we're going to put tough in the path, but you never know. So I'm just going to replace this all with coarse dirt and then we'll go back through and change up the texture so it's nicer. Now this is what I mean by I feel like this whole part here might need to have a bit more of a function to it. So I could see this even having like lower, lower slabs. Indicating that maybe people take off this way a lot. That's a little bit strange. Hmm. Yeah, that feels weird, doesn't it? Maybe it'll be better if this is a little bit more constructed. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. Oops. 
So this kind of stuff is a slower process. But what generally what I have here is a stone brick road and then bricks on the where the gutter would be. But sometimes when you want to pull people away, we talked about this earlier about using texture to kind of push people in a certain direction. We'll get some cracked stone in there too. But you can sort of see where we can start to play with some textures. And then use some carpet somewhere to try and create like an edge. So the idea being that if someone was coming this way and they wanted to go round, they wouldn't they wouldn't just come to a stop and have a right turn they'd, they'd kind of veer off and over time it would start to get worn down you know yeah i definitely need some cracked stuff Oh yeah, moss is great, ranger. I really like it. It's a fun, fun, fun block. I don't know if there's a lot of downsides to it. I think the only thing that I've ever complained about it is that it doesn't change with the biome color. So you, can, you can't use it in every biome. But I guess, well, no, because lush caves are their own vertical biome anyway, so that wouldn't matter. Anyway, I'm coming up on another break, but before I get there, I think it's going to be worth, speaking of moss, uh, going and getting more moss. So we'll load up on moss. I'm going to put everything else here back in my chests. Oh, that goes in the moss blocks, doesn't it? Uh, that goes there. I know we're good for bones and bone meal here. We're a little low on rooted dirt, but it's not the end of the world. I keep on trying to avoid clicking on the item because it, I think of it like an item frame where I, my brain says it's going to rotate and drive you nuts when really <laughs> I kind of wish I could rotate them. So we need to repair the pickaxes. We need moss. Is there anything else we are low on? We've got andesite in the storage room. We're good there. Sorry for all the clicking. I guess I can bring... That should probably just go back in there. I will need a bow and arrows. Also, I just realized I don't know where my sword is. No clue where my sword is, which sucks. I don't think, unless it was in there. Oh, there it is there. Never mind. Uh, we're good for rockets and food. I'll bring an empty shulker box just because. And yeah, I can't think of anything else that we were low on. We'll do a once over in the storage room. I mean, we're low on spruce, but I have to grow spruce. That's fine. We'll go check. Uh, this way is probably fastest. Mm. 
not changing moss across different biomes is a benefit at times. Yeah, it's I guess, and that's the balance, right? And that's the balance that Mojang has to strike when they add stuff like that. Oh, so we could use some more azalea. Okay, so I'll put that on the shopping list. Moss, moss carpet. Good there, good there. Don't think there's anything there. No, I think we're good. It's just the moss, which with all the landscaping I'm doing. And that's good because that's a single, that's a single stop. Not a big deal. The fun part when I do these little trips is I tend to walk them rather than fly them. So if you're new in the chat or if you're watching this on YouTube later, then you get a good view of what we've been doing in the area for the last little while. Don't know which one of the seven trillion shulker boxes your stuff is in yeah i do have a lot i i feel like i need more one of the things i'm really looking forward to in the sci-fi area that i don't know if i've mentioned this but i think i i think i found a really good spot it's uh, about fifty thousand blocks from spawn and it's a massive mushroom fields with a lush cave network underneath it as well as a couple of mine shafts so I think it'll be ideal for the kind of things that I want to do in a mushroom field because the most frustrating thing about a mushroom field is that I wanted to build on the surface and have it look cool and dark and sci-fi, but I didn't want mobs everywhere. But if I wanted to do a mob farm, I would have have to construct that outside of the, of the mushroom fields, which means hovering something over the ocean or creating an ocean build. Now, what I can do is, uh, because mobs will spawn in lush caves, I can have any kind of mob or um, f farm like that uh, directly below the sci-fi area rather than off to the side, which means that I can create a bunch of different farms and have them all running while I'm building the sci-fi area. So I think this new sci-fi area is going to be my technical, my new technical hub on the server now that I've got six years or seven years of experience and knowing what I want to do. And I think it'll be great to have just like a personal size moss farm and a personal size bone meal farm and hook everything up to crafters and have a super smelter that will just be able to handle all kinds of stuff. That horse was sliding across the bush. I've tamed a horse once before. It was way back when we first started, but I, I now that we've had elytra for a long time, so I don't generally bother with it. I'm gonna finish this thing too. If you're new, I don't talk about this much, but if you're new, we've got command blocks in the server that act as portals, quote unquote, uh, it takes us to and from the different zones. So that way your skyscrapers don't end up being next to medieval castles. So that's the portal to the, fant the medieval fantasy realm. And this is kind of like the, the middle of the server. This is like, well, that's the X, Y, 1, 1 coordinates are right there. So first stop, I guess we'll go to the um, moss farm. Because that's close by. Oh yeah, horses kind of sneaking around are a bit sketchy sometimes. See, the moss here doesn't really mesh well. Moss and azalea. There we go. I don't know why the bamboo is in there, but it is.
Oh, it's a player head. I could have got rid of that. Making a dent. I think this might be one of those farms that fills up from the top first. I can't remember. We're okay for saplings. Let's grab carpet. And there's the ones that I want. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Uh, no, I thought... I guess we don't get bushes from this. Never mind. I'll have to grow my own to get bushes from this. Oh, no, wait. There's Dartmouth Meadows. There's a little farm. This hasn't been on to create any bone meal. All right, so we still have azalea bushes, but that's fine. I think what I'll do, Cosmic, is I'll get to the gold farm and then I'll AFK there for my break. So we should have some extra azalea leaves hanging out in the community farm here, I think. Oh no, I guess not. Well, if I have any bone meal in my little cabin, then I'll quickly hit those and see if we can't capitalize and get some leaves. Does not look like it. Normally there's bone meal in the farm, isn't there? Hmm. I've got to sleep anyway. <laughs> That's not enough. I could have sworn. Uh, bone barn? Right, that's right. The bone barn would have some too. That's true. Normally one of these chests has got bone meal in it though. Aha! We're going to repair these anyway. Just have to keep an eye on them, make sure I don't completely deplete them. I'll leave the root of dirt for you, Cosmic, if you want it. Technically, I know a hoe would have been faster, but like I said, we're going to be repairing these anyway.
That was not nearly as much as I thought it was going to be. Guess if I want these, I'll have to take down the wood too. That's right. I think we were a little bit short on oak. Why is rooted dirt so strange? I don't know. The best way to get rooted dirt is just to find a naturally spawning azalea tree and dig out underneath it. You'll get stacks. People tend to use it just for little textures, so it's a lot easier to gather it that way. This way you only get like one per tree. I'll bring that back too. That's not bad. That pretty much fills us up. I like to have a little bit of room in my shulker boxes sometimes. I'll leave that there. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. Be a good Samaritan for the next person. I'll leave the root of dirt for whoever needs it. Helena Blake, hello. Welcome in. Been listening to your podcast a while and wanted to check out your streams. So well, thanks very much. We're just heading through the nether to go to the gold farm. Need to repair my little shears and my pickaxe and just take a little break from doing some landscaping in West Hill. Oh, that was my head. Those were low. Now they're halfway. <laughs> Oops. All right. Shears need to be repaired. Pickaxe. Should be good otherwise. This will get loud. And this is why I'll take a break while I'm here. I'll build up my levels and repair my stuff. And then when we come back, we'll head back to West Hill and do a little bit more work along the river. So folks, if you're new to the channel, I do take a break once an hour. It is that time. So I'm gonna step away for five or six minutes. I'll be right back.
Red Posh, hello, welcome in. Uh, I think we're good. Got the Zelia, got the Moss. Everything else is repaired. We'll top up. If I turn my volume up and down does, on my headphones, does it affect the stream? No, it doesn't. All right, that's cool. I missed any feedback earlier uh, when I asked if the game sounds were too loud compared to my mic earlier. Has Is the balance a little bit better? It was ducked by a full decibel, but now it's only ducked by a half decibel. I mean, this would be an extreme, extreme situation. Uh, we are getting really low on fuel. Need to fix that. At some point. Not here for a terribly long time, but I'll take the win and the, the gold. Ooh. Nothing left over. Oh, except for I have to turn those into ingots in order to store them. I wish you could do that with more blocks in the game. I wish there was more items that you could compress into blocks in that way. Nerd pants, no worry. Thanks for saying hi. Feel like they're better balanced with your voice now? All right, cool. Thank you. Like, can you at least hear the footsteps? That's what I noticed when I was watching on my TV. And I was comparing my sound to, say, watching like a Hermitcraft video. And two things I noticed. My mic was a lot lower. When I watch a Hermitcraft video, I have my TV on like 25. And then when I watched my video, I had to turn it up to like 32 to feel like it was a good balance. Um, granted, I'm not always projecting on stream. It's not the same as a podcast. Then um, I also noticed that the in-game sounds were really low. And you couldn't hear footsteps. You couldn't hear the kind of interactions that I wanted to hear. Footsteps are present now? Cool. Oh, that reminds me. Since we're in the nether, I should have done this on the way down. I wonder if we can... I'll turn on that sound mod to see if, like, this place is echoey and cool and stuff. Uh, where is that? Here a little bit. You, you probably won't notice it. Oh, that was... That was echoey. Wow! <laughs> that was wild. Yeah, I I think they I think I might have taken it off chests or they don't do it on chests for probably for good reason. Yeah, the you can really hear it on the on the rocket. Oh, and on the on the snort <laughs> from the piglin somewhere. Oh, he's up there. I guess it means that I forgot to put Spawn proof the top of that. That's good to know. Uh, 
Now it's not supposed to happen outside. Yeah, the block breaking was pretty distinct too. Uh, the dirt slabs are a, oh, that's a broken tables and chairs. Uh, the dirt slabs are a data pack that I made. Cancel. Wrong mod. All right, that was fun. I should turn that on. When I was flying around, that would have been fun. I think it'd be really cool to do that for caving. I mean, I don't have a reason to go caving, but if I did, then that would be fun to have on. I wonder if it would be helpful, like as you're looking for extra caves, you know? This is the first time we've come back, I think, since we finished the uh, the Westall River Inn. So this will be like the, the reveal of the inn as we come around the corner here and go over the bridge. Because they are uh, retextured uh, petrified oak slabs. Looking straight at it. Right there. Not the best time of day. It's kind of, it's kind of in shadow, I guess. But I like the depth that it gives us. Like this is a lot closer to us than the wall and the main gate. So I like that that change. And the smokestack is a nice. If you do another Abba caving event, yeah. Yeah. The mod's on the on the spreadsheet so people can grab it if they want. I don't think I need to go back. I'm going to walk on the road. So this is this is the kind of thing where I'm I'm kind of stumped. I don't know what we're going to put in this green patch here. I think here there's going to be a little path that goes down to the river. But I don't know here. I feel like there could be a tree like right here maybe. Nothing crazy, just like maybe a small one or something a little bit bigger. I love that my render distance is so high now that you can see the graveyard from way over here. That's nice too. All right, back to finishing the path. Azalea and moss. Cracked and mossy. I think that's it for now. Oh, pressure plates and buttons. And then we'll need coarse dirt, brown rooted, maybe some mangrove. So here's where we can soften this up a little bit.
think we're still in a decent biome. Plains, yeah. I don't think it goes to river until we go over the edge. Sunflower plains. Yeah, all right, we're good. Moss should work for blending all through here. So here we can kind of direct people down the middle a little bit. Ah, oh, that doesn't look all that good. Gonna need to make some more green concrete soon. So I don't want this to be, I don't think I want this to be as complete as this other path. I really liked what we did up here, but I don't think I want this to be that finished. I like maybe a little bit more like this. So we'll work in a little bit more with some of the different blocks. I would like there to be stone most of the way through though. I really haven't gotten into using ore in decoration. I probably should. Maybe what we should do is just do all the stone bricks first and then come back. And add the textures and the different pieces that we want later. Don't really have a good in between. There's no real gray dirt. I mean, certainly some of these could be mossy. Feels like kind of a straight line, so we might have to pop out here and add a little bit more of a mix going on.
never thought about using concrete powder as a generic verdant block. Yeah, it's um I used to use it for moss before moss was in the game. That was my go-to. The tricky part of course is that you can't use it near water cuz it turns into concrete. And uh sorry, like cuz we're talking about concrete powder of course. Uh and the other thing is that if you're doing any kind of cliff then it can't be suspended um very easily. So like you couldn't put it there cuz it would fall down. I feel like this might be a little bit too brown, so we'll go with some cobble there. Oh, now that feels a little bit repetitive. What if we add that there too? Oh, that was better smooth. Andesite maybe? Gotta remember I want to use these pressure plates too. Maybe closer to the road. The buttons? Yeah, you walk right through them. So the nice thing about those is that we could actually put them on a dirt block. Although we've got that there. I'm not in love with that. I think I would prefer to have extra buttons. Feels like there's a lot of brown right here. Have a beat. Thanks very much for the follow. Faux Veil recently used some concrete powder to get specific shades of color on a phantom statue. Oh, cool. Always oh, scared someone's going to actually put water on it. Yeah, that's fair. I'm glad concrete doesn't change in the rain. I think maybe I'll switch these. Try not to have stuff cross the path. That's the other thing. I want my texture to kind of flow along the path as opposed to crossing the path. We were talking earlier about trying to direct the player with the texture. So you'll notice like all these texture kind of patches, they seem to flow kind of like that way, right? Like there's an L there, long line there. This kind of goes that way. We need a little bit more gravel here. And then some of this could be lightened up a bit. I 
Does anybody know of a good texture that's that's gray but it has some brown to it? I know acacia is good for that kind of stuff too sometimes. What I'm missing is my like the my coarse dirt texture normally has a chance to have pebbles in it, and that's what I think I'm missing here. What I really want is a brick texture with <laughs> with uh, dirt in the cracks, right? That's what everybody's dream. Everybody's dream is. a little close. Why don't we do those two instead? I feel like that's pretty natural. Still have a lot of work to do on the dirt, but I think we're doing pretty well. Wonder if this mangrove or maybe stripped spruce has enough green in it. Maybe we can use that. Dirt and stone bricks should make dirty stone bricks. Yeah, I think that would be fun. It's a little dark. That's not bad. Does go really well with the moss. Oops. Again, I feel like there's a little bit too much dirt maybe. too much in the middle. I think we need to bring in a little bit extra moss on the edge.
This is where I'd like to have something that you can layer on top of stone, just like the pink petals. I know I've talked about this before, but so I feel like we've lost the path a bit here. That's pretty good. I'd love to put a moss carpet along here, but I feel like it's too close to the other side. Jaunty Pepper, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Oh, that's maybe something we could do to reinforce the edge here. Whoops. Yeah, that helps a bit. Oh, that's too frequent. These stairs need some texture too. So I guess I was hoping for a little bit more dirt, but it's hard with the path only being two blocks wide in some places. It looks really strange on the map, which is throwing me a little bit, even though I know that doesn't matter. Maybe some of this could have some dirt in it. Note to stealth, stop leaving work laptop on <laughs> when I'm finished work. Yeah. I've got a bad habit of checking my phone at the gym because I use my phone to track my workouts. And then I end up seeing emails and stuff I need to add to a task, you know, while I'm at the gym. Not my favorite. I'd like to just completely check out and not have to worry about it, but it's not as easy as one might think. Because I'd rather remove the notification. Like I'd rather remove the little red number off the email app, read it, flag it, and just like deal with it later. I'm not going to answer it then, but I still have to sort of, um, you know, at least acknowledge it, right? Mentally. need a different block to go in there. Not used any cobble before. That's a bit too bright.
Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a little bit weird. I'm going to leave that. Texturing stuff going down the slabs is always tricky. So gray is better there, but I don't want it to be mossy. Yeah, like I really want some sort of broken down thing here, but I feel like just a brown block in the middle is a little bit too much. I I know I walked over some acacia on the way. That's pretty good. So I feel like maybe it's just that I need to dial down a little bit. John T. Pepper, what would ever give you that impression? The thing is, like, I have a very clear idea in my head as to what I want this to feel like. And when it doesn't happen, at least not right away, it gets a little frustrating. And I will hang on until it's done. <laughs> Especially this close to the end of the stream and this close to the end of the texture, like I, I'll just tough it out. So I think this is making this feel very narrow. Yeah, that's better. Then maybe I just need to move this. And now that that's the same color, Maybe this can be regular coarse dirt. Maybe this has to be reversed. a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like there's a couple holes in the path, but it's not the end of the world, you know? I think that's pretty good. What do we think? Let's put some of this back. And I need a couple of slabs. Because these stairs are not quite there.
Oh, that's really similar to that, isn't it? Let's go with that then, and we'll switch this over here. I think that's it. Have to at some point you have to walk away, otherwise you'll just noodle on things forever, right? Check it. Coming from this way. This feels pretty normal. That could actually be maybe a mossy brick. Yeah, there we go. That all feels pretty good. And then going back the other way. This feels pretty natural. And then turning right also feels pretty natural. If anything, there's a little bit too much going on here. I think just regular coarse dirt is fine. Guess the pressure plates go in there, don't they? And gravel was just over there. Excellent. So not bad, not bad for an afternoon, right? We've got uh, no texture on the road yet because I haven't finished the tree or the light, but texture for this, I think is pretty good. That's obviously from leaf somewhere. That was a good choice. Feels a little bit beaten down, sort of like this path here. Not as refined as up here, but I think it matches with what we've had going on. We uh, we also put some finishing touches on the bridge. Couple little changes on the texture, but mostly it was just these um, supports. And then to the right here, we finished up 
this little suggested subtle path. Finish the rock. Nice little overhang blending the staircase into the wall. A little overhang here, blending the rock into the vanilla landscape. And then secret tunnel, which if you're not careful, you climb up the vine. And that takes us in here and goes all the way to the basement of the inn. Pops us back out here. Awesome. Good stuff. Cosmic, who in our normal list of folks is, uh, is streaming right now? I'd love to pass everyone on to another chill streamer, another fun community. John T. Pepper says, I love your commitment to detail. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad that you learned something. That's fun. I'm glad that I can at least pass on some knowledge and just a slightly different way of doing things. And that's the wonderful thing about Minecraft is that everybody plays it just a little bit differently. So when you're doing stuff like this, you know, just it changes, you know, your perception of what's possible and all that kind of stuff. Thank you, Minecraft Citadel server for always raining when I'm trying to show off the pretty things. False Scotsman and Cat the Possum. Uh, let's raid Scotsman. Scotsman's a member of this community and a, a fun fellow. I think you'll enjoy time with Scotsman. If you want to listen to some more stuff about Minecraft, you can check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. Myself and Pixel Rift just finished interviewing and chatting with Mog Swamp, who is a super flat player, also a member of the Minecraft SOS server with Pixel Rift. So that was a really fun chat. That's available now wherever you listen to podcasts, including YouTube. Check out the Citadel Cafe, another podcast I do. Again, available everywhere. And uh, do check out the Patreon page. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators. I have one. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Gets you an invite to the Discord. Gets you an invite um, to the community. And we all get to hang out in between streams and have some fun. And uh, there's lots of other benefits there. One of which obviously keeps me streaming because this is my job. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Speaking of appreciation, Cosmic Dancer, thank you so much for the moderation today. Nice of you to drop by and do the, the hard work, the people's work. I appreciate it. Uh, same with you, Sandy. Oh, Scotsman's wrapping up. Okay, well, hopefully Scotsman doesn't raid me because <laughs> that would be awkward. Uh, who else is live on my list? Uh, false Symmetry on Hermitcraft is very, very cool. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure, I'm sure False is up to something fun. Uh... Next time I'm streaming should be Thursday. I'm probably going to try to take tomorrow off. I've got some stuff to do. Uh, I don't normally stream on Tuesdays. Normally Thursdays is my first day of the week. So I'll see y'all then. Don't forget to follow here and on social media. And do check out those podcasts. I think you'll like them. Well, it's raining here in real life. And it's raining here in Minecraft. I think that's a sign. Have a good afternoon, folks. Enjoy false. I will see you later. Bye for now.